become a really hot topic of debate recently, vaccine requirements in the workplace. So that leads to a question. Should people reveal their vaccination status on their resume or on LinkedIn? As West Virginia's Amanda Duke supports, the experts differ on their advice. As more employers mandate coronavirus vaccinations for workers, a hot topic of debate is should those applying for a job reveal their vaccination status and how? Andy Challenger is senior vice president of a Chicago-based executive coaching firm. He says putting a vaccination status on a resume or even a LinkedIn profile may help those who are looking to get hired. It's good to just have the information out there, smooths out the hiring process, and gives you just a potential advantage over other candidates that might not be as forthcoming with that information. But not all experts agree with Challenger. Michael Neese, CEO of Interview Mastery, has over 20 years of experience in recruiting an HR. If you are unvaccinated, I would suggest don't put it on your resume or your LinkedIn profile because you're inviting controversy. Controversy. If you are vaccinated, then it, you know, it doesn't matter really one way or the other. Nice says, well, vaccine mandates and the legalities of what a potential employer can and cannot ask a job candidate are still being worked out. The best policy for a job seeker is don't bring up your vaccination status unless you're asked. Challenger agrees with Nice that if you are not vaccinated, putting that on a resume may not be a great idea unless you know the company you are applying with is not making vaccination a condition of employment. Another tip hiring experts have for job seekers is to make sure none of their social media that's viewable to the public expresses strong opinions on vaccinations one way or the other. Those are best shared privately with friends and family. In Orange County, Amanda Dukes, West Tunis.